Hey guys, so I know I've been gone for a while, um, but I'm not gonna go into explaining because I could go on for hours and hours and hours as to why I was gone. Hopefully this room is not too echoey because it doesn't really have a lot of furniture in here at the moment. Um, but yeah, so today I'm gonna be showing you my cool stuff. Um, it's mainly crystals. Um, and then like coins from places. Um, so I will hopefully, and I don't wanna make any promises cause we all know how I am about promises on my YouTube channel, but I'm hopefully gonna be posting pretty often. Um, however, the videos are gonna be a lot less edited and um, like kind of a whole new topic. So I'm just gonna kind of let you guys figure out the topic on your own kind of decide what it is um but yeah so let's get into this um so the first i'm gonna start with the stuff that's not crystals first um i have this light bulb which this is from a very old car um my grandma would know what kind of car this is from but i don't i just think it's really cool and it's really cute so have that in my cool stuff uh, we have a two dollar bill and a canadian five dollar bill and this is a Alea surfboard. If you don't know what that is, look it up. There's a lot of history about it. It's one of like the first surfboards that were made, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, my dad used to make them and he made me this little baby one out of some spare wood. And it even has like all of the curves and stuff that it would have. Um, so starting with the crystals, um, we have this. This is my, I think it's my biggest crystal. This. These two rival each other. Yeah, this one's bigger. Um, I'm not sure what kind of crystal this is. If you know any of the ones that I don't know what they are, if you know what they are, feel free to tell me. It gives me ideas. Um, anyways, yeah, I've had this one for a super long time. That's what the back looks like. Ooh, I never really noticed the side. The side's kind of cool. But um, yeah, then this one. This one, I really like this one. I didn't used to, but now I really do. So this is quartz. Um, this is like straight from the earth My brothers found this and it was like a big just like a ball and it had like this all over the outside But they broke it knocks like this and I love this one And they got it from Texas or Tennessee. I'm pretty sure Tennessee, but it could be Texas. So I don't really know um next is my agate if you hear a lot of noises we can just blame that on my family because they're being loud upstairs. Um, anyways, this is Agate. That's pretty much all I have to say about this one. I stole it from my mom's ring. Um, then we have this one, which I think this might be Agate, but I'm not sure. So if you know, let me know. Um, that was my dryer. Um, yeah, so thank you, dryer. Um, this one is red goldstone. Let's see, will it focus? No, it will not. Okay, basically, has tiny little like gold glitter in there, and it's red goldstone, so that's cool. I found that one in my house. This one is one of my favorite crystals of all time, or rocks, stones, whatever you want to call them. I love this one. It's so pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's very pretty. Um, this is more quartz. I found this on my friend's, like, farm. Once again, it's not going to focus, but, yeah, it's got, like, this really cool, like, shape. I don't know. I like the shape. Um, we have some fool's gold. That is not a crystal, but it's in my cool stuff. Um, this. I, if I had to take a guess, I would say amethyst, but I could be completely and totally off on that, so I really don't know. But, yeah, I like this one. It reminds me of, like, lava and, like, like volcanoes. Um, this one is pretty cool. Again, I don't know what it is. Will it focus? Will it focus? Please focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus. However, um, this one's really pretty. It has a really nice color. Oh, 
almost forgot. I'm wearing one on my neck. This, I don't know what it is, it's purple. And it has a cool thing right there. And I made this necklace. So yeah. Um, then we have this blue one, which is also very pretty. This one I got um, at the Grand Canyon along with, where's the other one? Oh no. Oh, I know where it is. Um, am I gonna go get that? Just a second. I am back. Okay, so these are my favorite crystals. These ones I like take with me places sometimes. Um, but I got this one from the Grand Canyon. I am not sure what this one is. However, it has a lot of wear and tear because I've had it for a super long time. This is kind of, it reminds me of this one. I like them both a lot. Um, but in here, I just have it in this pouch. Um, this is Rose Quartz. I got this at the Grand Canyon too. Well, not at the Grand Canyon, but at like a, you know, a gift shop. And then these two are clear quartz. And I feel like these are very like cleansing. Like that that's why I like these. This one, I feel like it's very just like I don't know. I'm not really positive of the vibes, but I like it. I like it's kind of calming to me. Um along with this is rose quartz as well. This I used to know the name of it, but now I forgot it. Plus, I'm not positive that the name that I had was correct. So if you know exactly what this is called, let me know. But I like this one because I feel like it just has like, just has a lot of energy. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite ones in there. The light bulb almost fell off. Okay, next, I'm just gonna grab a handful. This one, again, this is one of my like more favored ones, you know, along with these two. They're all very pretty. This one, um, this is crackled quartz, basically. They heat treat it um, and it cracks on the inside and then they dip it in dye and it makes it change color. This is another one of my favorites. Um, this one, I love the color of this one. It's so pretty. Again, I feel like this one has a lot of, like, energy to it. I don't know. This one, I've had it for a long time. I think my mom got this for me when she went to Seattle, maybe. Um, this one. Are you serious? Okay. Um, this... I know, know what it is. It used to be blue like this one, but I put it on a necklace and I wore it all summer and now it's pretty much clear. Um, this one, which I, it could be crackled quartz, but I'm leaning towards no because it seems too opaque to be that. Um, next, this one, I love this one. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. My mom got this for me. This one, again, could be crackled quartz. These are very similar, but I'm not sure. This is crackled quartz. Um, this is another one of my favorites. This one, I do not know what this is. It looks similar to Tiger's Eye, but it's not. Um, these two, I have a lot of like these little ones that I just have found and I polish them. Um, but I'm not going to show you all of those. Another crackle quartz. Here is more quartz that I found at the farm. Um, this one I really like. It's one of the smaller ones that I have. This, I think this might be crackle quartz because you can't really see it on camera, but it's a lot more crackle, like it has a lot more like cracks than the other ones. Um, this, I'm not sure what kind of stone it is, 
but my grandpa got this for me a long time ago on Valentine's Day and he passed away. So this means a lot to me it's in here. Um, let's see. There's a couple more in here that are like little ones that I have found. This video is getting long now. Um, they're all just little ones, maybe hard to show you, and it take forever to show you all of them, so I'm not going to. But there's this one. I like that one. Um, this, I'm thinking this might just be a glass marble because that's what it seems to be because it has a crack on it. But I've kept it around anyways, and I'm pretty positive that's glass. Uh, this, I really like this one. I just just got that mellow feeling this one I like as well used to have this one on a necklace but I took it off along with I think I had one of these other ones on a necklace but I don't know this one I love this one it's so pretty you can't see the details on the camera let's see if I can But it's so pretty and it's so little. I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. Um, I have a lot of coins from all over the place. I have some. I have one from Thailand. I have a lot of Canadian coins. Yeah, this one is from, this is 50 cents from Hong Kong. Not Thailand, my bad. Um, I'm not gonna show you all of these. I have one in here that's really old this one this is in god we trust 19 this is from 1945 it's um says it's an american dime um however i don't ever remember the american dime looking like this why is it not focusing okay well, it's clearly not gonna focus. Um, I have a bunch of these pirate coins that my dad got me when he went to the Keys. So those are in there, I have a bunch more. And then I have some, um, a couple smashed pennies, including this one that I was bored in. So I smashed it with the hammer and it turned out kinda cool. So I kept it, excuse me. Um, this one is from the Magic House. If you don't know what that is, it's a place in Missouri, United States. Um, and it's pretty cool. This is from the Sky Trail in California. Um, and this is from Jefferson National Expansion Memorial. Somewhere in Missouri, but I'm not positive. But yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. I mean, there's a lot more in here than I showed you, but if I did that, it would take me forever, so I'm not going to, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys forgive me for being um, gone for so long, and hopefully, I can keep to my word this round and continue posting videos, um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Give me some thumbs ups. And yeah, come back soon.